Today, we gave them three clear messages. Firstly, we stand by the people of Belarus who want fundamental freedoms and democracy. Secondly, we will sanction all those responsible for violence, repression, and falsification of the results of the election. Thirdly, we are ready to accompany peaceful democratic transition of power in Belarus. Firstly, on the support. We already provide a lot of support to Belarus through the Eastern Partnership. But now it is more important than ever to be there for the Belarus people and to reprogram money away from the authorities and towards civil society and vulnerable groups. The European Commission will mobilize now an additional 53 million euros to support the Belarusian people in these challenging times. 2 million euro to assist the victims of repression and unacceptable state violence. 1 million euro to support civil society and independent media and 50 million euros of coronavirus emergency support for the health sector, for example, hospitals, or the procurement of medical equipment, but also for small and medium enterprises, or vulnerable groups, or social services. But as we increase our support to the people of Belarus, we must be firm with those that rigged the elections and are repressing brutally demonstrators. So secondly, there was unanimous support for the EU to be working on sanctions against those responsible for what is taking place. Targeted sanctions on specific persons without hurting the people of Belarus. The Commission stands ready to support and the list of people submitted to sanctions should be adopted as soon as possible. And thirdly, we stand ready to engage in all possible ways to accompany peaceful democratic transition of power in Belarus. We support the opening of dialogue between authorities and the opposition. And there was strong support for role of the OSCE. The OSCE might be seeking ways to facilitate dialogue in Belarus. Belarus is member of the OSCE. It's not so much on mediation, but on opening communication channels within Belarus. The demonstrations in Belarus are not against any neighboring country or entity. The demonstrations in Belarus are for the rights of the people of Belarus. This is about the Belarusian people and their legitimate right to determine the future path 